The United States hammering Chinese telecom giant Huawei with 23 indictments, including charges of wire fraud, stealing state secrets, and obstruction of justice. This as the White House steps up its game against a disputed uh, Venezuelan president, Nicolas Maduro, uh, by hitting the country with billions of dollars in new sanctions against a state-run oil monopoly. And Ambassador John Bolton tweeting just moments ago, we denounce the illegitimate former Venezuelan attorney general's threat against President Juan Guardio. Let me reiterate, there will be serious consequences for those who attempt to subvert democracy and harm Guardio. Uh, so how will these geopolitical crises impact the market and our economy here at home? Joining me now, Bulltick Head of Research, Catherine rooney Ver. Uh, Catherine, uh, it's, 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 it's a couple of big de deals at the same time. Uh, particularly as we head into this uh, meeting tomorrow this uh, with, with, with the Chinese delegation. How do you see it playing out? Let's start with Venezuela first. Yeah, Charles, I applaud the administration. I think it was a very clever tactic. It was one long in coming. I've been touting it for some time, and I think Marco Rubio, to whom uh, Venezuelan policymaking was de facto outsourced, has done a fantastic job, Charles, in really coming to the crux of the problem here, and that is you know, cutting off the lifeline to this Venezuelan, Venezuelan uh, autocracy. That is our paying, you know, for oil for this country it was lining the pockets of the generals, lining the pockets of the government cronies. And at this point, I think it is what's going to prove to be the, the inflection point for Venezuelan democracy. What about the, the sort of uh, Colin Powell theory of you break it, you own it? We're in there now. Uh, we're in there mm -hmm. deeper than perhaps... Uh, we, in other words, you know, someone talked about, for instance, uh, Ambassador Bolton and, and the, the, the pad that he had and suggested 50,000 troops to Colombia. I mean, if this thing ratchets <laughs> up, what does it mean for us? Do we, do we take military action? Well, that's the worst case scenario, right, Charles? I mean, the worst case scenario is you have a, an escalation of tensions, which leads to two axes of powers. On one side, the U.S., uh, all the democratic... You know, centrist countries in Latin America plus the, the Venezuelan uh, Guaido and, and the opposition versus Russia, China, Venezuela, all the bad actors in the world. So certainly that's the worst case scenario. I take um, consolation, Charles, in the fact that there is talk that Nicolas Maduro is looking to have talks with, with President Trump. So I think that looks like he's looking for an out. And I would not be surprised if the military in the coming weeks, as soon as the next week or two, now that the U.S. has cut off you know, um, the cash flow to Maduro and his cronies, it's, it's kind of being ring-fenced. It's not that the oil prices haven't soared because Sitco is still allowed to import Venezuelan crude. It's right. just being, you know, ringed off into a, a frozen account for Guaido and, and his legitimate um, presidency. Quickly, before I let you go, these uh, trade talks tomorrow, what do you think will yeah. come out of them? Look, I think it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for the U.S. and China to come to some, some agreement. It's been my long-held view. I, get, I bet we get it done before the 90 days are up. Uh, Huawei is unfortunate timing, and it complicates the scenario, but I bet it leads us to focus more on what's been decades-long complaint for us in the United States, which is intellectual property theft, and I think that's the crux of the issue with the Does Chinese. Does the Huawei arrest and charges actually strengthen President Trump's hand? I think they do. I mean, the fact is, is that... Huawei is a, is a prime culprit with regard to IP theft, with regard to, you know, really going into the crux of the problem with artificial intelligence right. and, and, and es espionage. So I think that's a, you know, plays into the hand of, of, of the president. I do expect something to come out of it. Catherine, thank you very much. Appreciate it.